question? Let's begin with our class because we have a lot to talk about. Last class, we spoke about perfect models or past models to make it a little bit more simple, right? I want to cover all of them right now so we can pass to the conversation and we are we can be able to use it in our opinions in our daily speech i really want you to uh, dominate this this properly right the structure the structure that we had practiced was a structure number who remembers then 10, and actually it's in front of you, right? <laughs> structure number <laughs> 10. <laughs> and this structure number 10 goes as follows. It is the model plus the auxiliary half plus the verb in past participle. This is the construction of this sentence. As a question, we are going to use the model plus half before the person. Let's say that these two are together, right? They never separate each other. And the verb in past participle after the subject. That's the usage of structure number 10. And we need to remember only that when you speak about he, she, it, it's not necessary to use the structure, uh, the structure has, right? That's not part of this structure. That is part of the structures number six, structures only structure number six, okay? So, on previous classes, we practice with would, we practice with might, we practice with may, and we practice with must. Now, we're gonna go through the structure should. Should have as a contraction, the pronunciation is should've. Everybody pronounce it, should've. Should've. Should've, should've. very good. And should have is when something was a good idea. I know we saw that the last class, no? Something was a good idea. I should have done that. I should have. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done that. I'm. I'm talking about a regret that I should. Uh, I do. I should have done. Yeah, there's not another way to say it. Uh, things that we regret. Things that we would have liked to have done <laughs> it's so complicated to say it <laughs> but it's something that happened in the past that you don't like that happened right so you say okay i should have i don't know asked for her phone number you know i have very good chemistry with uh, with um with my gym coach and she was actually showing me the signs that she liked me and then I said, okay, well, see you tomorrow, bro. <laughs> and she was like, hey, what happened? You know, I, th I thought there was chemistry. Oh, yes, I should have asked for her phone number. Dang yeah. it. You know? Of course, this, this happens 20 years later, no? <laughs> so you see back, you, you think back, and you say, oh, man. She was flirting with me. Damn. <laughs> two, you know? two, two years later. <laughs> or 20. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> you know? <laughs> True story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is when we, we realized that she was flirting with us. Hashtag being a boy. But that's the thing. The should have is precisely the way it works. Do you have another situation in which you think about should have? What do you think? Who can who can give me an example? Um, for example, you you should have studied about structure ten because. There is exam, exam tomorrow. Okay. Yes. No. Are you asking? 
I I didn't understand. Yes. Oh well, you you should have studied about structure ten mm -hmm. because we have exam tomorrow. Oh yes, that's a good one. Or because we have exam today, not tomorrow. Today. Uh huh. It's like they should have ha uh, happens when there is no no way back. Okay. There is definitely no way back. In the case of the, the exam is tomorrow, well, you have a couple of hours to review. No. Okay. But if the exam is today in five minutes, oh yes, bro, you should have studied. Okay, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's a good example. Uh -huh. I like it. Good, good job. Okay, what about what about Jesse? Give me one. Do you think of an a situation where this works? I shouldn't have studied other career. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Is that a true story or is that an example? So-so. Um, So-so. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> That's, it's like, yes. Well, many people say it's that the because... Same place, Jesse. What? It's the same place, again. You, you are in a safe place, so... Uh, <laughs> take it out, no? Like, spit yeah. it out. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I mean, uh, many people say, okay, Probably I have too much activities in this moment. I studied and I have to work and now I have to pay rent, but I cannot finish my 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 studies, no, and I haven't slept very well. In that situation, yes, I would say that. No, is that is that your situation, Jesse? Mm, not really. <laughs> oh, okay, it was an example. <laughs> okay, well that that was good. I shouldn't have studied another career. Makes total sense. Makes total sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about uh, Isaac? Give me another one. Uh, okay, uh, I shouldn't. I should have. Uh, I should have wait a few more days to buy uh, uh, my basic supplies because there are some offer right now offer supplies again yes i should have mm -hmm. uh, what did i say i should have wait waited uh -huh. wait. i should have waited a few days more to buy my supplies because they are more of offers right now oh so there was a discount after you bought the office supplies yes uh -huh, yes Yes, be careful with your pronunciation because I at the beginning I understood shouldn't. Oh no, yeah. And then it was it was tricky. That's why I didn't understand. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Should have. Uh -huh. The when you pronounce a T, there is an explosion and mm -hmm. a phonetical T, right? But when you pronounce a V, there is no explosion. The okay. Shouldn't. Yeah. Shouldn't. Exactly. Shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shouldn't. Uh -huh it sounds very different now mm -hmm. okay, that's yes. the one very good uh, can Silvana talk on the, or is she on her way uh, not yet I think that in like in five minutes <laughs> cool perfect then let's go to the next one which is can't have teacher yes, can you repeat yes. the contraction sure uh, how pronounce the contraction pronunciation is right here this symbol over here the, that looks like an R mm -hmm. is equivalent to the R that we say in Spanish when you pronounce salero, oruga, or, 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 you know? Uh -huh. So how will you pronounce it? Should have. Excellent. That's a correct. Should have. Uh -huh. exactly. And in negative, should have. That's a that's a good question. The negative has no contraction. If it's a negative, it's necessary to say shouldn't have. Uh, okay, okay. And you separate it. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Let, let's include that here. Negative. Negative. 
contracts. No, negative only contracts. The nut. Right? So you pronounce shouldn't and then you say the half explicitly. Okay. Got it? Yes, because Isaac don't say half. Exactly. Didn't, didn't say he didn't, she, half. He didn't say half, exactly. So automatically that will be should uh, positive. Should have. Mm, okay, okay. Exactly. Uh -huh. Good, good, good. So let me check the railway. Okay, there we go. Negative only compares and not. So it shouldn't. Perfect. All right, let's go to the next one. The next one is very interesting too because it doesn't have contraction either. The word can't have, number one, exists only in negative. In positive, it's impossible, like impossible doesn't mean anything. This is very interesting because can have doesn't exist. It's only can't, negative only. Let's take a note on that. Negative only, which means can have doesn't exist. Oh, the note is right here. Over here. Right? And the word can't have is used when you are talking about things that were impossible. Things that were impossible in the past. It was not possible that, for example, it was not possible that uh, Rafa took my phone because Rafa was in the bathroom when I lost it. Or he, he, I took a picture of Rafa, you know? I took a picture of Rafa and then after that Rafa left. So it's impossible that he has my phone because I had my phone when I saw him. Right? And my bathroom is Guadalajara. <laughs> plus, plus, I was being schizophrenic because Rafa wasn't here, you know? So <laughs> there was no, no one around me, so nobody could have taken my phone. Nobody, nobody can't have taken my phone. Right? It was not logically possible. This is the notes that we have over here. Something was not logically possible. Someone is lying. That's the situation here, eh? Someone is lying to you. That's situation number one. Right? Are you good? Are you good at discovering when people lie to you? Can you notice when people are lying? Sometimes. Sometimes. Tell me about it. Some people uh, laugh mean, uh, while they are lying. Mm, laugh, pronunciation. Laugh, open. Some people laugh. Laugh, uh -huh, because it sounds like love. And it was not love. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so some people laugh while they are lying. Okay, that's a good. That's a good reaction, exactly. Or they start getting nervous. They get angry. No. Yeah. They the, get... the, the doesn't um don't have they they don't have a contact ah uh, they don't make make they make uh, eye contact yeah. this is a chunk they they don't make a contact or visual exactly contact? no 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 eye contact 
eye contact. Okay. Exactly. They don't make eye contact. They they like to like to see each other. And then what happens? What happens when the when the epiphany comes later? Comes later, sorry. That you say, okay, the person was very good actor or actress, no? The person always looked at your eyes, the person was never nervous, he was very relaxed, and then you think about it again, and you're like, but that's not possible, right? <laughs> you you think about that again, and you're like, nah, it can't have, yeah. it can't have happened. You see, that is when you start using can't have or couldn't have. I would include could have in this in this case negative right. teacher so so um um for example can have is the opposite uh, of must have uh -huh. because and when you are wouldn't have is like the same, but in past. The same, but in past. This doesn't apply here. No. Well, kind of. It really depends on how far, how, how long ago the situation was. So probably, yeah, because if you are speaking in present, your epiphany is in present, then you can say can't have, but but couldn't is correct too. Yeah, so, like for example, mm -hmm. oh no, please go ahead. No, 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 give me, give me your example. Uh, yeah, uh, like your, like you said, uh, for example, uh, she couldn't have she couldn't have uh, got pregnant. Got in past participle? Uh, got in past participle. Yes. Oh, yes, I know it. Uh. <laughs> come on, come on. For the one million pesos. Uh, it's a past participle of got. Well, then. Final answer? <laughs> yes, you no. are correct. Oh, well, well, yes, yes, you are correct. You are correct. <laughs> yes, <I'm>... yes. <laughs> I was playing. Yes, gotten, gotten. So she couldn't have. She couldn't have gotten pregnant uh, by me if we we didn't uh, do anything. We, we didn't see each other for a year. Great. Uh huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. like that was a uh, military uh, people who has uh, children. So oh. Uh -huh. And then come, yes. they come back from from <laughs> training, and she's pregnant. Yeah. Hmm. Suspicious. Uh, the the spirit saying. <laughs> that was that was a very specific example. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember it. <laughs> that was too specific. But it's an example at the end, you know? These this, uh, models go for very specific situations. So yeah. everything is permitted here. <laughs> okay? okay? That, like, like you told Jesse, like you are in the safe place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, check this out. The example says, she can't have passed the exam. And then in parentheses, it says, that student showed low performance during the course, right? And we can notice, we can notice that she, this person was not really able to, to pass the exam. And then you get the exam and she has a 10. Nah, you know what I mean? We are not sure if she studied or not, but we are pretty sure she liked 
she lacked the competence. So there was there was a mysterious ten in this student. Mm. Right? And the same thing happens if you say couldn't. You can say she couldn't have passed the exam. There's no difference, eh? You get it? Okay. There we go. Tell me the time when you found out about someone lying to you. Take it out, boys, girls. When did you find this in person future? was lying to you? In future? What do you mean in future? Yes, because they late i don't know where is it the pass of light late uh, good question light is a regular verb so okay, you light. light 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 okay yeah i mean they lied me yesterday okay. and i discovered in in, in this moment <laughs> he okay. discovered now let's use found out Found out. Found, found out. out. The phrasal verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. I found out right now mm -hmm. that he lied. I yeah, see that he lied. Yes. Okay. Can we know the details on that? Because that will be useful for making a can't have structure to like to, to practice. Or do you want another example? I am not sure what do you mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Can we know more about it? Like what is specifically did he lie to you and how did you find out? Um, but the question was in the, the, uh, the moment when yeah. I found out. Uh -huh, exactly. Right? Like, like what was, the, what was the, the mental process that took you to realize that he was mm -hmm. lying? I don't get. <laughs> yeah, you know. Have you seen this? Uh, this do you, do you remember Adventure Time? Have you seen Adventure Time? I don't remember. Oh well, no, forget it. Bad example. But you know, what was what was the 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 mental process? Oh, okay, okay. Right, mm -hmm. that made you realize, made you find out that the person was lying. What was the logic in the situation? But the question is, what is the mental process? Uh, uh -huh. Like what, how did you find out? Mm, analyze. Analyze, okay. What did you analyze? The situation. <laughs> yes, yes, speak, like, tell us the story. I think that I analyzed the situation and I found you <laughs> found out mm -hmm. some someone lied. Someone lied. Is this a true story or is this an example? No, it's an example. It's an example, right? Ah, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. We need true stories. Ah, uh, okay. Or, yes. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably you you don't have one. In this moment, no. <laughs> okay, in a moment, in a moment we find out. Um, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you one. I I have one. I remember. Okay, great. Actually, for example, in my job, uh, a candidate was lying. Was light, it was no light, light only light, no, because, because he 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 has a 
I don't know how to say re reference, but in a, how do you say, carta? Letter. A letter reference mm -hmm. about, about other jobs. Mm -hmm. And, but they, they, but in my job, the manager uh, get reference, uh, but goes, uh, got reference, but call to the other, um, but to the other, um, right. Oh, yeah. Compact. Compact. Ah, okay. And, and was alive. <laughs> Nobody knew this person. Mm, yes, because uh, I just know. I and now nowadays we don't sure if 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 he really uh, work work it in in that place. In that place, exactly. We are not sure. We are not sure. Not sure. Okay. We are not sure. Oof, that's an interesting. Situation. So he can have, um, he can have work work yes. work it in Coca Cola, for example. Ah, great example. Wow, he can't have worked at Coca-Cola because nobody knew him. No, nobody knew anything about this person. No. That was a good example, eh? Very good, Jesse. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, what about... And that reminds me of a story. There was a TikToker who said... He made a video and he said... Guys, uh, we discovered that Twitter has no human resources, uh, no human resources department because people are getting fired without a notice. So you can literally say that you worked at Twitter <laughs> and nobody, there is nobody to pick the phone, you know. <laughs> So you can actually play on your resume. Hey, I worked at Twitter from 2012 and 2000 and that. And the, he, he said that he did that many years ago when another company broke and everybody believed him, you know? So of course, this is a very, very bad uh, um, tip, no? That's a very bad advice, but but it, people are doing that. I mean, people lie in the references very constantly. So that's a thing. Okay, what about what about Isaac? Has somebody found out you were lying, or have you found out somebody was lying to you? Um, yes. Well, right now I just remember one example. I think that it was well. It is really simple. Yeah. Um, uh, during my regular uh, job, my, uh, one of my regular tasks is uh, to review the, the documentation of the payments are, uh, is complete. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is a document that I need before uh, to process the payment that is a receiving report. Mm -hmm. This uh, document certifies that uh, the items are, uh, were received or the service uh, how say it? was rendered. Okay. Rendered. Was rendered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, it's something that always happened with the same person that submitted this kind of documents. That she she usually tells you that she usually tells you that the documentation is complete and you don't need anything more. But when you review the documents, there is someone missing the receiving report. So I remember one one time that I told her that I cannot process the payment because the, 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 the document was missing. Oh, uh, she, again, again, again. that time is happening in past, no? Well, happened in past. Yes. So, yeah. When you speak in past, you cannot say can. Oh, could. Could. So what did you tell her? Um. I don't remember what did I say. I remember, I, remember. What did you tell her? I told her that she couldn't have uh, provided that document. Oh, uh, uh, no. no. You told her <laughs> that you couldn't receive. No. Oh, yeah. Those papers, no. huh? Yes. 
Well, yes, I told her that well, the, I I well, I didn't receive that document. Couldn't. 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 Because you were the validation area, no? Yeah. So you need to use couldn't, not didn't, because didn't okay. is a different situation. Okay. Yes. I uh, so I couldn't receive uh -huh. that document. Plural yeah. or singular? Mm, singular. That document, okay. Yeah, that document. Why? Um, because I review like a, a review of yours a few minutes ago in the system, and it wasn't it wasn't there. But she she was sure, and when I refreshed the the website, and I noticed that she uploaded the document just a few seconds ago. So <laughs> the seconds because before, because I'm oh, always yes. in your present in this moment. Yes, even before. So. Mm -hmm. It was obvious that she couldn't have uh, uploaded before she, she told me because the system has its record. So, so I have all, all the support that he was. She was lying. Wow! And then, of course, you have a, a time of upload, no? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. She was just uh, like making more time. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Yes. That was a good one, eh? That was a good one, and, and, and that was a very interesting example you you did in this moment because you are playing with can't have or couldn't have versus <laughs> can and couldn't by themselves. <laughs> Be careful, right? Because there was a point where you were get, got, you were getting confused. Am I need yes. to use can or could or didn't, which. That was a, the massive issue. And I think this is the most important issue with these the structures in particular. That one thing is to dominate them, but another thing is to combine it with other structures when we are telling a story. Yes. That's, right? that's a challenge. Yeah. Yes. This is going to be your, your challenge in, in this lesson to find out the best way to merge other structures together with this one. Right, according to the intention, the, the intention that you want to express. Yeah. Right? So yes, like listening to yourself is priority in this one. <laughs> yes. Priority, totally, totally priority. Okay, perfect. So there you have, right? Can't have and couldn't have. Right? We are talking about negatives in this case. The negative form is couldn't have. Right? Before we pass to the positive one. Uh, Rafa, give me an example. Let's go, man. Teacher, an example of which one? Couldn't have or could or can't have. Negative. Couldn't have or can't have. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, for example, they they can have won the the soccer the soccer play. They couldn't have won it. Oh, <clears throat> they could no. They can have. They they can have won the soccer play match. The soccer match. Uh -huh, the soccer match. And why not? Maybe because uh, they are coyotes and. We will play against uh, Real Madrid. Okay, so she, they can't have. You will play, or you played in past. No, you will play. Then it's impossible. Actually, Jesse made a different similar question. Are we detecting lies in the future or in the past? But it's never happened in in future. Never, 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 never. Okay, okay. Okay, so no, uh, the same example, but the difference is uh, I I couldn't watch the the match. Yeah. And I suppose that they just they can't have won the match. Aha, uh -huh. when did the match happen? Uh, 
um, two two hours ago, but hours ago. I don't know the the, the final result. result yet. Uh -huh. So you're like, nah, they can't have one, and then you open Google. Yes. No, that's the situation exactly. When you don't believe a fact that somebody tells you, and you're going to verify it, you say, no, that can't have been possible. You know? Yes. Yes, like you know, now I, 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 I don't gonna waste my time watching this this match. Mm -hmm. We know the result. Mm -hmm. huh? Like, we, so you, like you are not going to replay it. Yeah. Definitely. Uh huh. If you like, you are saying no. I'm not going to watch it again. It's obvious, no? Uh -huh. The the result is pretty obvious. We know exactly. Right? Yes. Correct. Very good. Totally correct. There you have it, guys. Can't have, couldn't have for detecting that other person is lying to you. The positive side, could have or could have, goes for things that was possible in theory, right? Something was possible in theory, but didn't happen. I had the chances, there was opportunity, but I didn't do it. There is an example here. I could have become a doctor, which means I had the ability to become a doctor, I memorized a lot of things, a lot of medicines, and I memorized very complex names with ease. But I became a music producer. Very totally unrelated to, to medicine. So there was a chance I became a music producer, but I could have become a doctor if I wanted to. I guess I could have moved to LA if I wanted to. And probably I could have have a better, I don't know, a better a work record if I wanted to. So something was possible in theory, but it just didn't happen. Easy as that. Right? So what about what about Isaac? Was there anything logically logically happening to you that that never happened? Um, maybe I could. Yes, I I could have a. Uh, uh, well, I remember that I wasn't sure uh, when I was in the high school. I was not sure about the the career that I want to study. So I could have studied like um well, like what what's a what was the other one? I don't remember like economy. Economy, uh -huh. economy is uh, the yeah. major. Yes, I, I I think I could have studied economy instead of accounting interesting and why uh, could you have uh, studied uh, economy instead of accounting why why could i have because i uh, well i think that they are like uh, similar points even they, they are not like uh, the same um, subject but i think that i was really interesting in the in the Interested, yes, interested in the in how economy works for for the companies, but also in a macro level, like in the countries and in mm. in, in a global basis. So that's why I was like wondering which one was the best for me. So mm. at the end, I think that I choose how say how what how what is the pass of choose. Yes, choose, choose. I think that it's something similar, no? Sorry. Choose. Mm, so, so. No, yeah, the position no. is different. Those. Choose. Is with double O. 
Yeah, shows. And with ba in past is O. Chose, chose. Chose. Okay. So at the end, I chose a uh, content because I I thought that it could be more like um, uh, job opportunities, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. and that's why. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's a good example. You could have studied another thing. <laughs> very very good. I like it. What about Silvana? Are you there already? Because I saw I saw your camera. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know where, where, <laughs> when I turn it on. Uh, I actually that why my camera was <laughs> yeah, was on, but I, I, I didn't like, okay. notice that. Yeah. What? No, I, I was like, oh, finally a face, you know? I'm not talking to <laughs> the PowerPoint, and then it was off again. I was like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> I don't even let's know how many. Uh, let's do one that's ready to turn on the, the camera. Yes, oh, for a moment. Give me faces, guys. <laughs> you know, it sucks. It sucks talking alone. <laughs> but <laughs> nice. only one day Hello? of the week, so you <laughs> can. <Exactly. laughs> You can choose why what day do you want to, do you want to see it? Oof, no, well okay, let's uh, keep it for Friday then so I can have more motivation to work on Friday. Okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because... it could be possible, but uh, more, most uh, because of the activity, not only that is Friday. But okay. usually we answer the questions of the video. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a really good point. I think that is very... Are... <laughs> so sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, I agree with Isaac. Uh, you could see if we, are going, if, we, if we are watching the video again <laughs> or something. Uh, like to, to check, to check on, we are on checking. cheating, <laughs> exactly. Because you're probably watching the, <laughs> the subtitles on, on the phone. So it's like... Yeah, that's easy. That's why you respond in two, in two chances, you know? <laughs> but anyway, uh, do you have? <laughs> yeah, but anyone. <laughs> anyway, do you have an example for That's Christmas? a sad story. <laughs> yeah, but my brain is not working so well today, so I'm not going to share like a whole story like my partner so <laughs> maybe if i were if i if i have studied for the exam i could pass it if you no, have studied I, could, for the exam, I could have passed it if i have studied for the exam possible? i could have passed it the conditional yeah, that doesn't that doesn't sound bad. Mm -hmm. If if you are using the verb in past, eh? in the first part, the condition, if I had studied, you need you need to use had, not okay. have. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. In that case, I... you're right. It is the same to say I could have passed the exam if I had studied. Uh -huh, exactly. Have. Have studied. Yeah, have. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's totally correct. <laughs> and it's a it's a long story in a short in a short expression. So that's good. <laughs> yeah. Very good. That's what about... exactly what happened to me three, three weeks ago or two weeks ago. I don't remember when. <laughs> it, it was it was already the... three weeks ago. Every, every month. <laughs> every month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's what happens. And no, don't worry, you're not alone, <laughs> right? Like uh, students are. Oh, okay, so are you are you telling me that I <laughs> didn't pass the exam? <laughs> eh, well, kind of. Ah. I I haven't really had time to check them out. I this project is filling my my hours, but soon soon enough. Okay, soon enough. So then tell me one example, uh, Jesse. You're missing one. Action.
Okay. I, oh, okay. I am thinking about I was in, in a conditional, but I think it doesn't work here. For example, I I was thinking he he could have hired mm -hmm. if he didn't lie. But oh, I think it I don't know if it's correct. It 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 is correct actually, but you're missing some components. Some components are the sentence is incomplete. If hired, there is some logic. How do you find when it's incomplete? Well, if you say hired, hired is a description. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the standard verb for all descriptions? If you say I space intelligent, what is the space? Mm, verb to be. Exactly. Then every time you say a description, verify if you said the verb be. Okay. Um, he could have. He could have been. That's it. Hired. Excellent. He didn't like. If he, and then the second part hmm. for the conditional is using a structure number eight. If he. If he had, had in past participle in negative, sorry. Dun, 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 hadn't, hadn't, ha hadn't. Exactly. If he hadn't uh, like. Lied. Very good. With it, you are expanding the previous example, right? Yes. <laughs> you are totally correct. Exactly. He could have been hired or gotten hired if he hadn't lied in his resume sorry brother good job good good job rafa the last one teacher but i i, I have to give an example with structure eight and then not needed it's possible to use uh, structure the conditional but it's not necessary mm -hmm. okay Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, teacher, I don't know. <laughs> think about, uh, think about, Think about things that that were possible before you. Oh, for for example, uh, uh, you you could have become a well. No, it's it's very similar with example. No, <laughs> a doctor. <laughs> No, a filmmaker, because you said, or a director, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, tell me that you. story, yeah. Yeah, but it's very similar with the example. So, I can use another example. Okay. Hmm. That one is good, why not? Okay, yeah. What do you remember? You Huh? What do you remember about what I told you? I remember everything. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> that's no, great. No, no, no. Uh, everything in, in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> then try to transfer it to, to English. Yeah. No, I rem I I remembered that because. Um, here 
uh, it, it's a, a, we can read here, he had the ability to become a doctor. And you said that you, you were a, you, you were good. And if you. Good at what? Uh, good as filmmaker, as, uh, nice. yeah, as director, yeah. Uh -huh, okay, okay. Yeah, all, all the movie stuff. Huh? And uh, and if you if you have if you have if you had been worked more about this this kind of, of this activity, of, no? In this... Yeah, you you maybe could have could have become a good filmmaker a filmmaker okay the second part was perfect you maybe could have become a filmmaker but let's correct the first part i want to i want you to see that it was very natural the way you you, you needed to use a conditional like naturally you needed to use this structure you see but you need to take care on the structure precisely. You said if you, and it was the verb work, no? Yes. The part if needs the auxiliary had, because we were talking about past before past. If you had. If you worked. had worked, exactly. Complete idea. If you are, if you had worked in, the movie subjects mm -hmm. you could have become a filmmaker perfect example mm -hmm. that is the one oh and i tell my myself that every single time <laughs> you know <laughs> especially on the oscar ceremony i'm always like oh, yeah. you know i should be i should have been there I could have been there, you know. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> I I might I make be there. I might have might have might have. Mm -hmm. I might have been there. Who knows? No, exactly. Yeah. That's a thing. That's a good application. <laughs> That's a thing. Very nice. The last one, last but not least, will be going for formal speech. This is a why don't didn't you put formal. And this is not going to be very, very necessary for the exam. But this specific uh, formation, it's very nice for TOEFL uh, writings, for TOEFL level writings, for very good certifications on speech. They usually use the, the, the modal O2 which is a model that you probably don't use a lot because we are not focusing on formal speech. But I want you to see that this is very similar to should. O2 and should are synonyms. The only difference is the setting. The conversation is usually on the formal side. Look at these examples. It says, the use of O2 is similar to should, but it is much less frequent. It is confined mainly to formal styles. Example number one. I ought not to have said, I ought not to have said those things to her. He, this person, probably spoke really bad at her and today he regrets the most classic way to say this is the second example i should have not said those things to her that's the most common one but if the person is very very formal at speaking the person will use ought not to have plus past participle 
the negative is before the two, eh? Not after. Note. The negative. Not. Goes after. No, goes before. The. Out, not two. Do you get it? Yes, John. Perfect. That one is not going to be necessary for this specific uh, exam, for this evaluation. So don't worry. I just wanted you to have a little sneak peek of something that will be necessary in advanced um, advanced speaking. For Teacher. Yes, Rafa. But the note said, uh, the negative not goes before two. But in the example, I ought not to have. Mm -hmm. The not is negative, before the two. Negative is before. Mm -hmm. Before. Oh, no, 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 I, I understood, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you understood after for a, for a moment. Yeah, the negative right. not goes before the two, I, I intended, I intended. Ah. <laughs> oh, you understood not goes, you were thinking in Spanish. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yeah. Exactly, no, 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 it's not closing quotations, goes before the two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's a classic reading issue that's it guys okay take your notes take a little screenshot this is the full thing and finally we are done we are done with this topic in this moment okay let's uh let jesse speak because she will pass attendance hello yes hi thank you good night so i will say attendance please to my, Michael. No. Michael absent. Michael absent. In the file. Oh. Hi, the file. Thank you. Silvana. Hi, yes, I'm here. Hi, Silvana. Thank you. Hi, yes, Isa. Thank you to you. Hello, here. Welcome. Hi, Isa. Thank you. Alex. Alex absent. All right, and yes. I am here. Hello. Thank you, yes. Hello. So that's all. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice night. You Thank you, you too. Thank you. Thank you. You too, yes. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. All right. I will introduce to you to that conversation video. We are going to go to us another video extra from the video that we saw on Monday, okay? Because this specific video will help us create a little bit of opinions that can help you use perfect models, past models, not perfect, past models, in a more, um, in a more natural way. Okay, I want you to watch this video with me. It's a Watch Mojo video. Do you know Watch Mojo? Yes, these are the most viral, viral videos. It's like an American. It's an American badaboom. Hmm. Do you know these ones? No. <laughs> you don't know Watch Mojo? Come on. They're the most popular top tens in english you you need to watch more youtube guys i don't know it neither it's very bad okay i i am so happy to introduce you to the watch mojo channel it's so addicting like literally so addicting the video is called top 10 celebrities who ruined their careers in 2022 which are people who did something very, very bad to ruin their careers. Naturally, when we see these situations, we start speaking using 
the past models. Let's watch it together and let's discuss it. Okay, let's go. I mean, arrested for disorderly conduct. Yeah. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting. down our picks for the top 10 celebrities who ruined their careers in 2022 so far. That there should be a new leader of that party and therefore a new prime minister. For this list, we'll be looking at high profile individuals whose careers have suffered serious blows thanks to major controversies thus far in 2022. Which of these celebrity scandals surprised you the most in 2022? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Matthew Morrison. Tony nominated actor Matthew Morrison is well known for his role as high school teacher and club director Will Schuster on the Fox musical series Glee. Ooh, that dress so scandalous, and he know another guy couldn't handle it. She's shaking that thing like who's the ish with the look in your eyes so devilish. In 2022, Morrison was added to the judging panel for the 17th season of the competition series So You Think You Can Dance. His stint on the show lasted only about two months before the actor was fired for failing to follow competition production protocols. It's really unfortunate that I have to sit here and defend myself and my family against blatantly untrue statements made anonymously, but I have nothing to hide. It was later revealed that that was all fancy speak for inappropriate conduct. According to reports, Morrison allegedly sent flirty text messages to one of the contestants who took it up with the show's producers, resulting in his dismissal. Hey, it's Matthew. If you don't mind, would love to get your number and talk you through some things. The end. Number nine. Benjamin Mendy. French football player Benjamin Mendy had played as a left back for the English Premier League club Manchester City since 2017. Mendy has won three Premier League championships as part of the Manchester City team and won World Cup title, playing for his home country of France. In 2021, Mendy received multiple assault charges stemming from encounters he had with two adult women and a minor. The footballer was denied bail and held in jail until January 2022 when his trial date was originally set. Mendy pleaded not guilty to all the charges brought up against him and is set to stand trial in August. He was suspended by his club pending the outcome of the trial. Number 8. Fred Savage As a child actor, Fred Savage gained recognition for playing Kevin Arnold on the hit ABC comedy drama The Wonder Years. When did you decide you wanted to become a manager of distribution and product support services? He returned to the show when it was rebooted in 2021, but this time as a director and executive producer. By May 2022, allegations of inappropriate conduct by the actor-director came to light, and an investigation was launched by the network. It wouldn't be Savage's first time facing such claims. Back in 2018, he was accused of harassment by a costume designer on the Fox comedy The Grinder. According to Variety, Young Ju Wong said that Savage's, quote, aggressive behavior, intimidation, and constant use of profanities aimed toward female employees was left unchecked. While no offenses were ultimately found in that case, Savage was fired by ABC executives after their investigation was completed this time. Number seven, Kurt Zuma. Today, the judge described the events of that video as disgraceful and reprehensible. French footballer Kurt Zuma found himself in boiling hot water a clip of him and his pet cats surfaced online in February 2022. The footage showed Zuma severely abusing the animals while his brother filmed. This caused a heavy backlash from fans as well as the strong criticism from Zuma's club West Ham United and the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Although they condemned the actions, West Ham still went along with playing Zuma in their Watford match shortly after the footage went public. It's important that that West Ham also take responsibility for the fact that one of their players has committed a criminal act. The incident resulted in two of the club's sponsors pulling out and Zuma's endorsement deal with Adidas being terminated. Zuma was charged with animal cruelty and sentenced to 180 hours of community service. The RSPCA can now match the two cats to a new home and they're now in a permanent place of safety. Number six, Cuba Gooding Jr. The assault claims leveled against Cuba Gooding Jr. have been pending since 2019. 
the Oscar-winning actor was first accused of groping a woman in a bar in June of that year. Over the next few months, he faced accusations from around 30 women who claims to have been touched inappropriately by him. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, his trial, which was scheduled for April 2020, had to be postponed. In April 2022, Gooding Jr. pleaded guilty to the charge of forcible touching, while owning up to two other allegations of unwanted contact. This comes as a heavy blow to the career of an actor who has long struggled to return to his glory days. Number 5. Mason Greenwood As a young football player, Mason Greenwood showed great potential and quickly rose through the ranks of Manchester United's academy. At the age of 17, he became the youngest player to ever score for the club in the European Football League. In January 2022, a young woman posted audio and video clips on social media that appeared to show that Greenwood had physically assaulted her. On the same day, he was suspended by his club and picked up by the police for questioning on the claims. Since then, Greenwood has been dropped from his deal with Nike and completely erased by EA Sports from their FIFA video game franchise. Number 4. Boris Johnson The resignation of British Prime Minister Boris Johnson in July 2022 was the culmination of a series of high-profile scandals. Will the Prime Minister tell the House whether there was a party in Downing Street on the 13th of November. First, it was revealed that Johnson had violated his own COVID-19 lockdown regulations when he organized parties at 10 Downing Street in 2020. The scandal came to be known as Partygate, and was the first block in the line of dominoes. Next, some information about Conservative Party Deputy Chief Whip Chris Pincher surfaced. Turns out Johnson had appointed Pincher to the position even though he was well aware of the multiple misconduct allegations surrounding him. Yes, I think it was a mistake and I apologize for, uh, for it. I think in, in, in hindsight it was uh, the wrong thing to do. All of these led to the resignations of several key figures in Johnson's government and eventually resulted in him stepping down as the leader of the Conservative Party. And I want you to know how sad I am to be giving up the best job in the world. Number three, Amber Heard. Coming as a result of her 2018 op-ed piece where she referred to herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse, the live-streamed defamation trial between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp captured everyone's attention. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Heard acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. And everyone had an opinion. Throughout the trial, Heard received the brunt of the social media backlash and ultimately ended up losing most of the claims to her ex-husband. To some, this was all simple celebrity gossip. Others viewed it as a litmus test on where society stands in the post-hashtag MeToo era. All that's for certain is that Depp has several jobs lined up, while many Hollywood insiders say Heard's career in Hollywood blockbusters is effectively over. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award compensatory damages in the amount of $10 million. Number two, Will Smith. Let us make this a sure thing. You don't want to risk all that, do you, Richard? The 2022 Academy Awards will go down in history, not for the exceptional films that were honored that night, but for the controversy involving Will Smith and Chris Rock. While presenting the award for Best Documentary Feature, Rock made an off-color joke about Jada Pinkett Smith. In response, Will Smith rose from his seat, hit Rock across the face, and shouted profanities at him. The incident immediately lit an online firestorm, with a majority of people calling Smith's actions unacceptable. Following an investigation by the Academy of Motion Pictures, the actor was banned from attending any Academy event for the next 10 years. Some of his upcoming projects were also put on hold after the incident. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and twice in Hawaii for
first for a physical altercation at a karaoke bar, and then for injuring a woman after they threw a chair at her. It was also alleged that Miller had groomed Native American activist Okada Iron Eyes starting when she was 12 and they were 23. And Ezra is uh, one of the big stars of Fantastic Beasts, and Takata was a big fan of that, so Ezra, according to the parents, flew her out to uh, the UK to check out the studio. Several more incidents have sprung up since then, from reportedly harassing a woman and her preteen to housing another woman and her three children in their gun-riddled Vermont farm. Miller's controversies have left Warner Brothers in limbo over the status of their leading role in the upcoming movie The Flash. On August 16th, Miller released an apology, acknowledging that they were suffering mental health issues and had begun treatment. Did you enjoy this video? Yes. The gossip. The delicious, hot, warm gossip. What do you think about it? Teacher, I haven't pay, pay attention to the structure because the gossip was too good. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's, that's the, the structures will be built by you when you express your opinions. Okay. Exactly. We need to get some context, you know, of the, of the gossip so then we can provide opinions. I want to know what you think about Ezra Miller, about Will Smith, about um, uh, Amber Heard. And uh, yeah, I'm going to send you this video through the WhatsApp so you can review it, understand very, very deeply what is the, the context of the, of, the, of the gossips. And then tomorrow we are going to start talking about it. Conversation day. Okay. Our conversation. If you find more words or more vocabulary that is useful, take a note on the new words and use them tomorrow. Okay? See you, teacher. Okay, teacher. All right. Yes. Have a good day. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Okay. See you, teacher. Bye. 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 See you later.